In this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn this into this. this build I'm using the Thrustmasters T300RS steering wheel along with the uh, three pedal setup and this curved 32 inch MSI gaming monitor along with this uh, GSTP uh, shifter, H pattern shifter and handbrake combo. On this rig that I built uh, out of wood and using a JEGS racing seat. There are links to all these parts down in the description below. Uh, to see this build in full, this is part three. Uh, go back and watch my previous two videos to see how I built this rig from scratch, saving over $1,000, and to be able to build this rig for under two grand. <laughs> guys I spent a couple hours uh, yesterday evening uh, wiring everything up here got it all connected to the computer uh, had some power issues but uh, got everything turned on but the wheel didn't work neither did the shifter nor the pedals uh, I'm assuming I need to install some drivers um, so I'm getting ready to work on that but uh, I just wanted to show you the wiring here real quick got everything wired up uh, still need to clean this up I just wanted to get everything uh, connected first, make sure everything's working um, before I tidy up all the wiring. So I'm gonna work on that now. All right guys, I uh, downloaded the drivers for the Thrustmasters TS300 wheel. Uh, installed that, tested everything out in the control panel. Now I'm on uh, Esteto uh, Corsa and I am setting the inputs right now. Um, I tried to uh, do the configuration presets but they didn't have my wheel listed so I went over and I'm selecting each one of these individually and selecting the inputs and then showing what inputs so right now the brake input and now that is selected and now I got to go down to the clutch input that one didn't work let me try it again click on Click to assign. Uh, I didn't have it clicked, so I'm gonna test that. And then the handbrake, waiting for input. So now that's all set. I gotta do the same for the shifter, I believe. So I'm gonna go up and select shifters, and then click to assign. Um, so in this case, I'm using an H pattern. Uh, so I'm gonna click to assign and I'm gonna go into one. So that's set. I had to come back out of the gear to do that. Click for two. Click for three. And I'm realizing something here, guys. Uh, so, see, this says button six for one. And I had this set up this way, uh, which is what I'd seen on one of the videos that showed on mounting this uh, with the reverse up here. Uh, normally, in most cars, you have the reverse down here. But uh, the video that showed how you mounted this gearbox uh, had this this way. And I thought this may have been backwards because the cord was here. So what I may do then is actually go ahead and take this off and 
turn this around. This will give me more room for my core to allow me to route these cables better. And this cord is the shortest cord where it plugs into my laptop. Um, so that'll give me more room to actually move my laptop. My laptop pretty much has to set in that position right now, which is not a good place for it. And what I'm thinking about doing is actually building a little uh, shelf here for my laptop so that I can actually sit it on something and reach it much easier uh, from the seat. All right, guys, I took off the uh, mounting bracket. I'm getting ready to uh, reverse this shifter here, but uh, uh, like I said before, this uh, was a little loose. Um, you can actually see the indents. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Uh, kind of here where these uh, screws are pressing into this plywood whenever these bolts were torqued down So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clear out a little spot there just for the heads of those screws so that sets flatter on uh, This uh, mount here I'm gonna go ahead and change the shifter around and then I'll mount everything back up here and we should be ready to play guys now we are in business uh, so I got everything remounted and I had to uh, drill the holes a bit deeper finally got this plate mounted flushly uh, everything feels really good now it feels a lot more stable so now we should be able to start playing some games all right guys I'm not sure what is going on here uh, the uh, revs are just revving when I hit the gas pedal the uh, revs actually just die. You know, I let off, it revs back up again. When I kick the clutch, it starts to go and then it just stops. Um, it says I'm in gear, I'm not in gear. That doesn't have any effect on what gear I'm in. So anyway, I got some bugs to work out here, but first I've got some other responsibilities uh, such as taking the trash to the dump and I've got some work to do on the tiny home so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that now one thing I need to fix is the sound output on the racing sim um, I thought the monitor I had gotten had speakers on it it does not so right now I have to use headphones and that's just not what I wanted uh, I've thought about using the speakers that I have mounted in the garage, but they are controlled by a receiver that's up in the house. And in order, it's an older receiver, and I believe all it has is uh, audio jacks in it. Um, so what I'm gonna try here is to get one of these uh, Bluetooth audio receiver kits, try plugging this in. Hopefully I can hook it up to the uh, Bluetooth on my laptop. And then that way, uh, comes out of the speakers all around in the garage. Uh, those speakers down there are super loud, so it'll be great uh, for gaming. All right, guys, I did some research and I found that the uh, these inputs, the throttle, the brake, the clutch, uh, they need to be checked to inverted. So I'm going to do that now and test them out. So now that shows that the throttle's at zero, and as I Sorry. And so now that shows that the throttle's at zero and as I push the throttle, you see how it reacts. Um, so I need to do the same for the brake and the clutch. And then I'm gonna go to shifter because that wasn't working either. And then I'm gonna select use separate shifter. Another thing I can do is add uh, the sequential shifters um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and then for the downshift and I'm gonna save to the current configuration and now we should be able to go racing
All right, let's try this out. <laughs> oh, this is so much, it's going to be so much fun. Just getting used to all the controls here and um, still learning how to actually find the uh, gates and the shifter and try to control the steering wheel and trying to film all at the same time just isn't ideal. But uh, anyway, I'm going to practice on this here a little bit and I will bring you another update. All right, guys, I got the uh, controls uh, set up for the wheel and the pedals. I'm um, still having a little trouble with this shifter. For some reason, I can't get this to shift in the game, nor can I get the paddles to shift. It seems like the car's in automatic, but I'm not sure how to change that. I've looked through everything I can. Uh, but I just wanted to update you on a couple other little things. I had a couple more little bolts here to this mount, and this feels way better way less loose than it was, way more stable. And then I also added uh, this little platform here for the laptop so it wasn't sitting down on the pedal box and getting stepped on. Uh, plus, uh, I connected the steering post to the monitor mount with the 2x4 uh, just to kind of sturdy everything up. Um, during gameplay, the monitor was shaking a little bit. Uh, the wheel was pretty stable for the most part. Uh, other than maybe like when you went to like go sit down in the chair you may have a tendency to place your hand on the wheel not that I really recommend that since it's just connected with plastic but uh, anyway I went ahead and added that just to sturdy everything up I think I might move the monitor up a couple more inches uh, from the seat it actually looks pretty good uh, it doesn't look bad at all it just looks like it's just kind of low relative to the wheel a little bit. Um, but you can still, you still have a complete clear view of the monitor in its current position. But I thought about raising it up just a little bit. And then that way you can also see the computer, or laptop rather. Uh, plus now the laptop is in reach from the driver's seat. So that you don't have to get up out of the driver's seat to actually uh, use the laptop. I also went back and redid all the wiring, um, got everything nice and neat, kind of out of the way so it's not being stepped on. Um, so that's looking pretty good now. And I just need to work a little bit more on getting some sound. Uh, the headphones are fine for now, but uh, this cord that I have for these particular set of headphones, the type of jack that plugs into the monitor, uh, that's only about a maybe a three foot cord or so so during gameplay it's kind of in the way of the wheel anyway guys that wraps it up for me here today uh, you know what to do be sure to hit that like button be sure to hit subscribe and be sure to stay tuned if you want to see more all right guys I hope you have a great day